Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. That's me. I'm coming to you today from Google Jamboard and from my Chromebook. You can see the shelf right there. I'm on my Chromebook. And today we're going to talk about the Google Jamboard web app at jamboard.google.com, but also the Google Jamboard mobile Android app. Oh, look at that. The mobile Android app, which is available for Chromebooks and for iPads. If you have a Play Store enabled Chromebook, I highly recommend using the Jamboard mobile app and uh, same for an iPad, use the mobile app, it is great. Now with the web app, I often get questions when people look at my videos, why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? It's because the web app is a streamlined version of the mobile app. So let's just take a quick little tour to kind of get an appreciation of the differences. So first and foremost, uh, if you look at your background, that's going to be the exact same. That that button is in the same spot. Take a look at where your undo and redo buttons are. That's different in the mobile app. And then the, the share button is there. That's not in the mobile app, actually. The three dot is very nice, including where you can send feedback. And the Jamboard team does read feedback, so I highly recommend that. Plus, you can download as PDF and image, just like in Google Sites. And here... In the, in the web app, we have our pens, right? We can draw a little bit, have some fun with that. And we have our sticky note. And we have an image option too, which is actually pretty robust because it's got Google Image Search, Google Drive, your Google Photos, and this is to upload. So Google, you know, images in the, the web app are pretty robust. But then we have the mobile app. And so the mobile app is more robust few things. One, the undo redo is in the exact opposite corner. I don't know why that is, but that's the case. Uh, by the way, the, the frame, that is very, very, like when you look at your frames, very similar between web and mobile. Here, you have a three dot menu that has basically the same as the other. And that's this add people is the share button, but there is no feedback. You have to go back to the home screen for feedback. Now, the differences really start when we start with the pens. So I click on this pen and this time with the mobile app, I have assistive drawing tools. And that's three really awesome tools, one of which is this one, which is the uh, writing tool. Love that tool. Handwriting recognition. There it is. OK, one more. Let's do our shapes tool. Let's try a triangle. Great. Look at that. And then the other one. Oh, hold on. Hit the wrong button. A lot more buttons in the mobile app is I have the um, auto draw and the auto draw is amazing as you can see i can insert any one of these things and all baseball yeah i missed some baseball right now anyway so these these three assistive drawing tools do not live in the web app you need the mobile app to access them now the other thing is i don't see the sticky note here how can i insert a sticky note but i do see this plus and that plus is a big difference you hit that that's where you get sticky note you have your images. You can also insert drive content that's different. You cannot do that in the web app. You can access your webcam. Again, can't do that in the web app. Uh, you can do image libraries, just downloads. And remember, you can do that in the web app. And then stickers, you have your stickers here and these cannot be accessed um, in the web app. Now, once the content is in, so I've been putting in all this content. I can manipulate it in the web app. Let's go back to the web here. You see here, I can just use that select tool and I can throw this stuff all around. Handwriting recognition looks a little different, but you see, I don't have that here under, there's no assistive drawing tools, right? There's no stickers and it's different. So those are just a, that's a brief overview of the differences between the web and the mobile Google Jamboard apps. Again, if you have a Play Store enabled Chromebook, get the, get the uh, mobile app. Same with iPads. Don't use it on the browser. Use the actual mobile app. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.